Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today I'm gonna to be unboxing my very first gaming phone here on the channel, which I've actually been really excited to check out. This is the brand new Red Magic 6S Pro. This is the Cyborg model, coming with 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, and running that Snapdragon 888 processor. It's also got a 6.8 inch AMOLED, 165 hertz display. 165 hertz, you know, I have other phones running 120 hertz, which is already a super smooth experience. So really curious to see what 165 hertz is going to look like on a smartphone. We also got 30 watt fast charging. We got 450 hertz gaming shoulder triggers for when you're gaming, playing those shooting games. So it's gonna act like an actual controller, which is really, really cool. We got a three camera setup in the back and a 5,050 milliamp battery. So definitely a lot going on here with this device, but enough of the specs. I wanna get this unboxed and check it out. So let's go and check it out. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. As you can see, we do have plastic all the way around the box. So I got my knife right here. We're just gonna go ahead and cut it like that. Peel the plastic off around the box. There we go, Woo, look at that. Pretty cool logo there up in the front. I think I kind of messed it up with the knife right there, but let's go and get the phone out of the box. Lift the top up just like this. There we go. Woo, look at that. There is the device. The first thing we are greeted with here, I can go ahead and put this knife away. I don't want to cut myself. Let's go ahead and pull the phone out. Look at that. Whoa, it's got a little bit of weight to it. I'm not complaining though. Let's go ahead and take this off. Woo! Oh my God, look at that. This is definitely a gaming device. Just by the way it looks, it has such a cool look to it here in the back. Look at that. I know there's a lot of uh, reflection going on, but look at how cool that looks. Okay, it looks like we got some stickers here. Let me go ahead and peel this sticker off. There we go. Let's see, it says touch. Let's see, okay, is that a sticker? Yes, this is a sticker. It's telling me to touch one of these. I'm guessing once we turn the phone on, uh, it's gonna do something. Let's go ahead and see if it's got any juice here. And I do notice it does, let me see. Okay, so it actually comes with a pre-installed screen protector. Look at that, it's not covering the selfie camera or the sensors up in the front, but it is covering the full display. So it actually comes with a pre-installed screen protector. Very, very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and set this over to the side here. Let's see what else comes in the box. All right, let's see. It looks like we're gonna have our usual Manuals, stuff like that. Yep, user manual. Oh, and we also have a case. Look at this, all right, all right, look at that. So it does look like it's a fully open back case, really just covering the outer parts of the edges and of course around the phone here. Let me go ahead and shut the screen off. Let's try it on real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like I have it faced the right way. So it's just a clear case, so that's, that's actually pretty cool. So if you happen to you know, drop your phone on its back, it should still protect that as long as you're not dropping it on any rocks or anything because it looks like the case is giving it a good amount of lift around the back to where if you drop it like that on a flat surface, it should protect the back of that very cool uh, looking device right there. And then of course you're getting protection for the front too. Although it's not the, you know, the highest lips that you're getting on the top and at the bottom, but you know, it's nice that we do get a case out of the box. I'm going to set that over there. Let's see what else comes in the box. We don't need any of this. And then we got a cool red charging cable right here, USB Type-C to USB Type-C, and a charging brick, which you did not see any more in a lot of devices. And that is all that comes in the box. So let me go ahead and set all of that over to the side. So taking a look here at the phone itself, the very first thing that I noticed about this device when holding it is the weight that it has to it. It's not too heavy, but it's got a nice weight to it to where it gives it a nice premium feel, feels really good in the hand. Over here to the right of the phone, it looks like we only have one button, which is the power button. So you can see right there, turns it on, turns it off. And then it looks like we have a grill right here and right here as well, which I believe is to be for the cooling system for when playing games to help keep the phone cool so that it doesn't overheat on you because we do have a speaker grill down here at the bottom, uh, nothing at the top. So yeah, I'm assuming that is going to be for the cooling system there. And then right here on the sides or on the bottom and the top, I should say, is where we have those triggers for when we're playing games, you know, like shooting games. So that's pretty cool to have right there. Over here to the left, again, we have that grill. We also have a toggle 
to switch this phone into a gaming mode. And I really like this red accent color right there. It looks really, really cool. It also matches the back of the device because we got red accent color going around that camera right there. And then down here at the bottom with the logo. So a really, really nice touch that we have there. And then it looks like we have the volume rockers right here as well. And then nothing else here to the left. Going down to the bottom, we got the speaker, the charging port, USB type C. We got a microphone and the SIM card slot. There is actually no micro SD card slot if I am not mistaken here. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. And yeah, so it looks like it's only a slot for an S uh, or a SIM card. I'm sorry. So definitely no SD card slot there. Going up to the top, we got that headphone jack and a microphone as well. And that's pretty much it looking around the device, but the back of this phone looks so cool. Really, really loving the back here, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign into the device, download some apps, and then we can take a closer look into it. All right, so I am back all set up and ready to go as you can see here. Now, before we take a closer look into the device itself, I do wanna mention that this is going on sale on September 27th. I'll have a link down in the description below in case you wanna check one out for yourself. But yes, September 27th, which is actually pretty cool because that's actually actually my birthday, but there is going to be three models available. This one that is in front of me right here coming with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. This one's going for $599 here in the US. And then we have two more models, both coming with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. We have a black model that's going to be going for $699 and then a transparent model that's going to be going for $729. And then like I said, if you do want to pick one up for yourself, I have a link down in the description below. But let's go ahead and take a look at the the device here. Look at how cool this looks. As soon as I signed into it and this home screen popped up, I just thought it looked so cool. And what I really like here is that it's actually showing me what the refresh rate is up here at the top left corner. So as you can see, we're running 165 Hertz. Now, when I first uh, signed into the device and set it all up, it was at 90 Hertz. So out of the box, it does set itself up at 90 Hertz. You do have to go into the settings and change it to 165 Hertz. And then I'll show you the settings right now, but let's take a quick look at the home screen here. And it is just super smooth. I mean, this 100, and 65 hertz display is no joke. Of course, you know, it's not going to show up here on camera just how smooth it is because the video itself is a uh, 30 frames per second video. But I mean, just seeing it here in person is just so smooth. And I can definitely tell a difference coming from a device running 120 hertz. I mean, this almost makes this 120 hertz display look like a 60 hertz display. I just gotta be honest with you guys here. That's how smooth this display is right here. Super, super smooth. But look at how cool this looks. Very, very cool. Now I do notice there is no app drawer. So I'm trying to scroll up right here. There is no app drawer. I was messing around with the camera a little bit. I only took two pictures here. So as you can see, took a picture of the camera and then took a picture of the charging cable. And the camera actually looks like it did okay. Like I said, it's just two pictures with some decent lighting here. And yeah, I mean, I'm really curious to see just how well they're gonna perform in other conditions. But let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and go into the settings here. So if I go into the display settings, as you can see, we have the option to change the brightness level. We got show screen refresh rate. So it gives us the choice of 60 Hertz, 90 Hertz, the perfect combination of fluency and power consumption. 120 Hertz, the picture is silky and consumes more electricity. And then 165 Hertz, eSports level picture electricity consumption has increased significantly. And then you do have the option to toggle on or off what it's showing up here in the left. Like I said, it does show the refresh rate up here at the top left and you do have the option to turn that off if you want to, but I'll go ahead and leave that on just to remind me that we are running 165 Hertz on this display here. You do got screen display uh, preferences. I do have it set to vivid mode, which it actually looks really, really good on this display right here. You got the night light. I do have dark mode turned on. You can change your font size, uh, automatic screen timeout. I do got that at 10 minutes. And then if you go down a little bit more, you got the always on display and you do have a couple of choices here. You can set the time. Uh, you can put a video, a GIF or a GIF. I don't know, whatever you guys call it. I call it a GIF. <laughs> you can set an image image, analog clock, text, digital clock, or you can customize your own. So that's pretty cool there. Going down a little bit more, you got the lock screen, launcher, and theme. You can be able to customize that. And then going down a little bit more, there's an option right here that says cooling fan. So if I click on that, you can actually turn this on and it'll uh, turn on an intelligent adjustment or fast cooling maximum 
fan speed. So you can actually turn on the cooling fan. If you feel your phone start to heat up or feels like it's overheating, you can turn this on yourself. And not sure if you can hear it there. I'll put it close to my mic here. You hear that? The fan is on. Now it's not super loud, but you can hear it a little bit if you have it pretty close to your face. But that's pretty cool right there. If you, you know, say you're in hot conditions, like here where I live in the summertime, it gets around 120 degrees. If I'm using my phone outside, yeah, it's gonna get hot no matter what. And the fact that this phone has that, you, you're able to turn that on yourself, that's actually really, really cool. So you don't have to risk your phone overheating. Let me go ahead and turn that off right there. If I go back down to more features, we get a lot more uh, stuff that we can customize here. A super snap, let's go into that. Three finger screenshot, you can turn that on where you uh, three fingers quickly slide down the screen like that in order to take a screenshot. Red Magic eSport phone watermark, I do have that turned off. Screen recording quality. Now, I, I don't think I've seen this on any other device before. So you have the option to be able to set your screen recording at super definition, which is 1080p or high definition, which is also 1080p, standard definition 720p, or you can customize it along with the bit rate. So that's a pretty cool option right there. Uh, sound resource, the system sound, microphone or none, and you can hide the floating panels, screen recording operation feedback. And then you also have screen split. So if I go into here, it's just kind of showing you what you can do with the screen. Uh, one hand mode, free window, quick start, entertainment toolbox, Nubia share. So this is pretty much what we're going to have in our settings here. And then we also have an in-display fingerprint sensor. I did not know that. And it's okay. Look at that. Look at this. Boom. Works pretty fast. And look at the effect that it has right there. Boom. Now it's not going to be the most, you know, secure fingerprint sensor, but it is there if you do want to use it. Oh, missed it. But look at when it does get it, it's actually pretty fast. And look at the effect here on the side when I open up the phone. Look at that. Not sure if you can see that. Boom. Just that little touch right there. It's the little things that matter. Look at that. It looks really, really cool. Boom. But I can't get over how smooth, <laughs> how smooth this display is. But so far, as far as first impressions go, I'm actually really impressed with this device. I can't wait to start using it on a daily and really test it out. Of course, I have other devices coming. So I'm gonna have to be wise with the time uh, that I have, you know, in using these devices to give them their fair trial. But let's go ahead and uh, let's test out this gaming toggle right there. Let me go ahead and turn it on. Boom. Okay, so this is what we're greeted with right now. The game space automatically turns on the fan. Entering the game space will automatically turn on the fan after being turned on. It will effectively reduce the uh, heat generation and greatly enhance the gaming experience. Confirm. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have any games. So it looks like I'm going to have to add some games, but this is what the gaming mode is going to look like. You got the game lobby, and then yeah, I guess there's different windows here where you can add your games. Now I do notice that I can actually hear the fan. The fan is on right now. So as soon as I went into this gaming mode, the fans automatically turned on. So I'm guessing it automatically does that so it can continually keep the phone nice and cool so it doesn't end up heating up on you. It's not going to wait for the phone to heat up on you to start cooling it down. It turns them on right now so the phone stays cool so you get the best performance when gaming. Let's see what happens when I tap this. Next word browser, weather, YouTube music. So, okay, so since I don't currently have any games downloaded on this device right now, I can't add any, but I will be sure to do that for my next video. I'll do a full gaming video on this device. I'll add a bunch of games to see how it performs, see what the refresh rate is like and how smooth they play. So in order to get out of this, you just toggle back down. Boom, takes you back to the home screen. But let's go and take a look at the back here again. I got tons of fingerprints. Let me wipe this down really quick. Look at how good this looks. Again, this is the Red Magic 6S Pro. Like I said, if you're interested in this device, pre-ordering it for yourself, or if you're watching this video after pre-orders are done, you wanna pick one up for yourself, I have a link down in the description below. Definitely very, very cool. Really excited to start using this phone. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Is this something that you find yourself interested in? Especially if you're a hardcore gamer, you know, a hardcore gamer carrying around a gaming device like this, that's gotta be cool. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Like I said, so far I am impressed with this device. Got a nice 
cool look, very premium look, feels good in the hand. The display is beautiful and just super, super smooth, super smooth. But thank you all so very much for watching. If you did like this video, find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thanks again for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.